So a little good morning. We're just going to finish the mind with the two paragraphs, just run it inside. So we have the very last two paragraphs. Then we'll start this new mind with. So the point of this mind is that as a result of the Yidin being ma'ayir once again, which it says, Bechlal and Kabbal and Chsidus, Hashem's desire for creation. And the good is that the fact that we can murder Hashem, even the Rotsanak Golay, that was it, the Rotsanak Golay is the manifest of the Rotsanak Hashem, is definitely a symptom in the face of which we are here, the matter, absolutely insignificant. How is this possible? That's because the Hashem is Mushrish and Atmos, the place where the Rotsanak Hamukhle. The Rotten Hamuchlet, where the Abishta decided there, and that's the same address as Nisham Rosh Yisroel, that our Avodah should affect it. So the net result is that every year of Shoshana, not only does his Bechlam see this, that the creation exists, but the, desire, the, but the uh, investment in creation is renewed every year. Because the starting point is there is a creation. What's renewed every year is the highest Chodesh, that's the Lashon of the Arizal from Tanya. The point of the Mayim is that not only that, what's renewed every year is the whole desire that there should be creation to begin with. And it's all bound up with the Yid. It's all bound up with the Yid, and that's concluding the Mayim, but that's what we say, in the Yishet Aleph, just move to it quickly. Zer Yifcha, that's what we say, the capital in M. Zayn before Tkir Shoefer, and one of the psukim there reads, and it's the one, it's the passage just before Olu Likim Bisrua, which is the main reason why that post, that capital is chosen. It was Olu Likim Bisrua, Hashem Bakil Shefer. Before that, as Yifcha Lov is Nachba Sin, is Gen Yaakov, choose for us as our inheritance, Gen Yaakov. Now, Gen Yaakov with two explanations. One is the base of Mikdash, and the other is the could this live the second period in every Jew? And I'll explain. This is the whole Pchir. The whole Naime, now we understand why we're invoking the Pchir now, because the very choice, most essential choice possible, that for Dira B'Tachtoinim is all bound up with the Yid. And that happens in Rosh Hashanah. Sheva Kosh, the Pasuk Zev, Alder, Zev, Bechvalos, Amis, but the request expressed in this Pasuk and in the whole Mizme, which we say before the Kiyashoyfe is on the day of the Kiyashoyfe Tia. Through our Vodav of Kiyashoyfe, we should effect, because this is what you want us to do, and that is Noisef al Kiman meets with the Kiyashoyfe in addition to the two levels, the, the other two levels. It's the mitzvah we connect, and then a higher level, and we're accepting his commandments. That's one level, it's a renewal of the acceptance of his commandments, level one. Level two is being in Akshubat Kiyashoyfer, even where we had violated, we can then rectify it's a higher level, Shuva redeeming the past. Then now the third level, that there should be a Yid, that there should be a Dirib Tachtoinim. All of that is renewed. Gam Gilu Yetzam Anashama Yifcha, we're asking the Abish to, because you want us to, you empowered us to touch you this way, because ultimately we're a part of you. And therefore, we affect you on even all of the manifested levels. We affect you even with as we have the Shamas and Gufim. So, we're also asking the true Pchira that which should be the Gilui Etzem and the Shama, that the essence of our souls be revealed, as they are rooted and, and one with you. Now, how are we, how are we there? This is the Shamas are rooted in Atmos, the fish came, Bocha, the Pchirosa Chavs, that's the truest, freest choice. Yivchar alone. Now going to all our riches here, through, through choice is an expression of the essence. Because if any other levels are engaged in you making your decision, it's not free. So Seyed was telling you, your midas are telling you, there's a, there's a, there's a hechler. The only part of you that chooses freely is when there's no, there's no construct, there's no seichel, there's no midas. So why are you choosing? Because that's me. It's free means free of all considerations within the self. The true free choice is only the etzem and the shaman. The true free choice 
is in Atmos. And what is he, what's he choosing there? That there should be a neshama that's part of Atmos. It's the self. The true free choice is the expression of self. If I'm getting this because, it's not a free choice. The because is the reason. As soon as there's a because, why you choose something that's not pure of Choshis. Pure of says there's no because. Why choice? Starts here. The Ebesh is his true Pchidah Chavshis is expressed where in the Shalmas he saw. Because they are him. He's decided to express himself in this. It's all him. He didn't transparently express in the source of the Neshama Pchidah Sa'atzmas because that's what they are. And true free choice is the expression of self, not something else. Okay, this needs an Arich respect. But he wants to finish the line. So <laughs> go further. Mamshech, as Nach, the post continues, as Nach Lossein is going Yaakov, you're choosing that we should be your inheritance, going Yaakov. What's that? What's going Yaakov? He said, What's the Nach of the inheritance that every Jew inherits? That's Gilean Zeb and the Kudasayabas. Where is this revealed? Hashem's choice. And it's the essential Nakuda that I'm a year. Nachlaseinu. I show you that the Nakuda Selev Shabbat Kolach and Nachav Yisrael. And this dwells in the essence of the heart of every Jew. Beis Mikdash the Yaakov. That's one period. Should be that this refers to every year. And then the other one is refers to Beis Mikdash Ashlishi. What's the connection to that? Okay, now we're saying it's Mushish and Atmos. It's all about the Nishama. It's all about the renewal of Hashem's. Free choice of a yid, the ultimate, that you are a piece of me, or a piece of me should be expressed in you. That's actually not the right language, because the, the starting point is in you, and I should be in you. That, that you should be a piece of me. That's all renewed at the, from the very beginning. The whole did it at its deepest level. You saw Kabbal Chaldava Yidin preceded everything. That's all renewed on Rosh Hashanah. We're asking, our, our request should be revealed in us. I should feel I am a yid. It's your choice of me and how we, insepar we are inseparably one, well, which is what the whole Neil is. So what's the connection between the third base of Mikdash? A lot of the above, we said, if you shall be dead, you shall be dead, you shall be dead, you shall be dead. There's a whole Arichas which you want to repeat now, but the Arichas is in Dalit, that the Sherish and the Shom embodies this tension. It's Machshava Atzmis, but it's about Azulas. That's the whole Dirib Tachtonim. I want to be known by something that is me, but that isn't me. It's me in essence, but doesn't feel that it is. That's you. And which is, where don't you feel me? Then you come down to a goof. And when you feel me in a goof, you, the whole world will feel you. I want the whole world to reflect. That's the Dirib, our essential bond. Like we always say it, but as a house, the house is a reflection of the, the soulmates that live there. That's a true house. So she did gilise shalom shomes nimshach me'ein gilise gamba oilam. So through the revel, he says me'ein to the revelation of the source of the neshama. A similar type of gilu is expressed in the world. It's not the same gilu. The world is a like bria. <coughs> the world is a creation. It's not machshava atzmi. It's not expression of atzmos. Your home is not you, it's bricks and mortar. But the home, in all of its detail, reflects you because you built it. And everything that's chosen and is put there is an expression. And we explained it one, at length in the past. The functional things in the home don't express you. But you have a toilet and you have a bathroom. And a shepherd has something about it. It's what color and where you split. It's all the non functional things. There's, there's not a reason. I just like this. When you choose something for no reason, there's two things that in terms of value, they're, they're, they're the same thing. They're going to give the same thing. The, the brick, the, the faucet. So why does he want this one? It's not an explanation. That talks to me. That just, my, that just talks to me. It's color, the shape, this thing. That's where the home is. The home is in the details. That's why the home is in, in Kima Mitzvah. It's not in the actual mitzvah that everybody you have to do. It's in the, it's the hidden of the mitzvah. You eat without it, etc. It's in the detail of the mitzvah that the etzim is revealed. The detail of the home that that's in is revealed. So the whole world and all of its detail is going to express that even the Amish are one. So therefore, yes, the Vayna Kesh, the Pish, the Yaakov, the Pesach, the Migdash, the Blachad, the Yisra, 
So now we're going to connect, connect the two explanations. There was this question in the beginning of the mind in the Sitalaf. What's the connection between the fact that the Goyen Yaakim on the one hand means to pin to the Eid and the second one that it means? What's the connection? Because when will that be revealed? When will that, when the world finally become a home? And Eden Lamata, this Nakuda fully revealed that we're one with him, will be in the third base of Mikdash. Therefore, Goyen Yaakov means both the Nakuda Sayyadus and the Mikdash Sashlishi. She bought him Hail of Yamena, the Mashiach Tikkeno, built very soon in our days of Mashiach Tikkeno. The Ashlema concludes. She knows that Allah Shaykh is not positive. Hello, this is Eden Nadikhaz. Closing that year, Shafer. Uh, in addition, there was another question he asked. What's the, you ask the Nebish to go from Rachmim, from Din to Rachmim. All of the Kim is through, have vibe called Shafer. That's the reason not being Nigma, we say this person. The reason I'm introduced to say. All of the Kim, we want to go from Midas to Din to where? To Midas and Rachmim. So there's all kinds of levels of, of Midas and Rachmim. It's Midas and Rachmim because you deserve it, it's best in Shamayla. It's a cheshben. It's a cheshben. You're a tshuva. You're a nice person. You're, you're, you have schus of this. So we'll go from din to rachmin. Here the chiddush is going to be that what kind of all only kim is through and what can be said rachmin? Atzmi is the Unconditional. Chida chavshi is not because of any mildness and chesloyness. Just can't, you can't let go of us because we're one with you. This is the chiddush of the of the all only kim is through. is going to say now the hamshif to the It's a chida dike. Rachamim, which means absolute, unconditional. Higher than your tshuva and higher than your mitzvahs. But you should, that it's drawn into the tshuva and into the mitzvahs. Let's conclude. If the Nebuchadnezzar is not possible, if the Nebuchadnezzar is not possible, in addition to the fact that if the Nebuchadnezzar, which we explain now, is Bechira, so Atzim, so Nesham, as Yisrael, and therefore in the world, the whole Dira Ptachim, as we just addressed now briefly, so, so yes, the shachas miyachedes. So this pasuk, which is expressing the essence of Rosh Hashanah, the pchira from it, the essence renewed. So it also has a connection, a special connection to the pasuk shul achra, the pasuk which follows it, which is the reason that in Pashtus why we're saying this pasuk all the likim is through avai because shayfa. So it starts off with likim and it goes to avai, and then it ascends. We're asking David to, to get up from the from the from the throne of midas adin and to go. On the on Kisei of Midas Rachmi, Shador Shir Hazal, what the Hazal say in the pasuk? They she saw him like the Meshifreyim. The fact that he didn't take the Shifreyim, his whole diak in the order. What's the mitzvah of the Shifreyim? They take the Shifreyim and they blow it. They take the Shifreyim, they take it. Shaday he saw take it. So he said because take it, that goes on the tshuva part, that goes on the lower levels. The night and the Yidin takes the Shifreyim hasn't done anything. What to Yid? That's that's where you be eating a mushish and atzmus. That before he even blows, it's right there. He, home, he takes the shofar in his head and he's expressing, "I am a year." He doesn't even know anything. Not a mitzvah, not shuvah, nothing. Just I'm Jewish. That's the pechidus atzmus. That's the that's the noitlin, and that's the kind of rachamim that we're all the kim bisrua that we're eliciting. And atzmi is dikim rachamonis, which is again beyond even shuvah, which is what. Drives and causes the children, fuels them, etc. That's in our orders. There's also more. So, the union, so what's the union? They, they, so, the brothers that they didn't take their shaykh and, they, and then therefore they wish to get something, kiss and din, and the throne of Jack, but the issue is that the union here is the union here is the Rachim, Iman Mishach, Madis, Rosa, the Tata, Rachim that's aroused through Arab Voida, whether it's mitzvahs or chuva, in Magbola. So the, 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 the rachamim, the compassion, then is commensurate to our tshuva and to our mitzvahs, and therefore limited. Here we say, no. Kesha, she psukim, you said, therefore the kesha between the yivchar and the rachamim here is, is there she so noit in the shape frame, and you didn't pick up the shape frame, and even before, the token and blow it, what's going on here is, a layer like it's the tata, it's not just our avida affecting those levels that can be affected. Bezdan Shomayla, etc. And even the Rotsana Goldu and so on. El Rather, Shaydezem is Galab Hirasa Atmos be Yisrael, your unconditional love, that's unconditional. And what kind of compassion there is? 
not a compassion based on your tshuva, based on your performance, your mitzvahs, but bligvo, truly. Therefore, the rachmim that's drawn as a result of Yidin being ba'ayr, which God is asking us to do and empowers us to do, to be ba'ayr, the essential bond and choice, b'chidus atmos. So therefore, the rachmim that comes with that is an atmos, the infinite rachmim. And therefore, it's drawn down for the Abish to himself up beyond all cheshbainas, even of children friends. This is the Rebbe, the Tzumisha Yemachap, that's the Hemshech of, of Rosh Hashanah. Tzumisha Yemachap, because you are a Yid, the whole Lechad, Lechad, Misal, to every Yid, Ksimach, Simatayra, to be written and sealed, good for good, the Sharatayra, Misal, for good and sweet, Yibit, Tayra, Nira, Vanigla, Amen. Okay, you now your job to ask the mind will learn it. Okay, next month.